Hey there, everybody. How you doing? Welcome back to Rippin' Packs. It is Tuesday. And today, we're going to open up some baseball. You know, like we do a lot of the time here. But it's instead of doing the one thing I was going to open, because it's only five cards, not a lot, we're going to open up something I've had for a while, and I've been trying to find a time to open it, and I think now is the time. Why? Because it's themed. It's themed with non-licensed product. Well, what could that be? It could be the Panini Elite Extra Edition Blaster Box I picked up at Target the other day. Five whole cards, one pack. Yeah, pretty awesome, huh? Well, maybe we'll see what happens. And then the other things we're gonna open, we have two value packs of Donruss Optic uh, from uh, Panini as well. I picked these up a while ago, just been waiting for the time to rip them, and I guess that time is now. Hi there. I'm Craig Michelson, and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. Okay, everybody, we've got the Elite Extra Edition Baseball and Panini's Donruss. Uh, two fat packs we're going to open up here. Now, I picked this up at Target the other day. We have five cards. I've seen it open on the channel before. It's going to be college kids, going to be prospects, going to be things like that. We're going to get two autograph or memorabilia cards in here. Hopefully, at least pull an auto. Um, I know at the at the hobby level, it's a hundred bucks, and you get like eight autographs and a couple other, you know, a couple other uh, memorabilia pieces. So it's a pretty nice haul. But again, it's Panini, so they're not licensed. Um, they're in their, you know, grayed out, photoshopped jerseys, everything. But you know, we're just gonna have some fun here because I know a lot of these prospects and I follow a lot. That's kind of the game. That's what I, that, that's my world, if you will. Well, I know who I pull out of here. I, maybe, I don't know. Could pull some Dominican players. We have two pink parallels, so we're gonna two pull pink parallels there. Um, yeah, there's Dominican Prospect League on card autograph possibilities. In fact, they just had the international signings uh, just, I think, late last week. And so there's been a handful of guys. Do I know who was signed? I know Ioana Cespedes' uh, cousin got uh, signed. Don't remember by who, but obviously I'll put below on all five cards who they are, what their deal is, and where they landed. Are you ready to open this? Hey, oh, be sure we, before we even open this, click that like, click that uh, subscribe button and click that notification bell. You do that, you see me open up more stuff. Like tomorrow I'm opening one of those 100 card mystery pack crapolas that probably is gonna be junk. But it's fun, right? Well, maybe not, it's kind of frustrating either way. But we're gonna open that and you'll see me open up more stuff down the road. I got some Bowman Heritage on the way and we'll open up some of that and blah, 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 blah. We're gonna open up a lot of stuff. Anyway, here we go. Elite ed Edition, ex Elite Extra Edition, Panini, five cards, one pack, ripping packs, three, two, one, and go. All right. Are we gonna collect? By who do you collect? Are we gonna sing a, sing a little ditty for you? We'll find out. Ah. And no, no collecting. One whole pack. So here we go. One pack. What are we gonna get? Well, we're gonna find out now. Yeah, good lord, open. <laughs> okay, we have got Ian Bedell for the Cardinals. Um, yeah, it's a nice little car there. It's, it's the pink right there, so we're looking at the, the pink uh, parallel. It's card number one. Card number two is Alexander Avalis for the Texas Rangers, another pink parallel there. So, I'm kind of milking my time on these since I only got five cards. Then we have, oh, there we go. There's our first, uh, I should pay more attention to what I'm pulling here. Robert Hassel of the Padres. I'm gonna turn these cards around, I'm not gonna look at them. Uh, Robert Hassel of the Padres with the USA. Uh, that's a nice hit right there. He was drafted, I believe, number 10 overall um, to the Padres. Um, yeah, that's a pretty nice little hit there. It's a name I know of. Yeah, that's definitely a hit. Then our next card is going to be Alec Burleson. Oh, it's our autograph, so, well, I screwed that one up already. So let's 
There's only five cards in here, so you're kind of limited. Alec Burleson with the prime numbers. Number 207 out of 212 for the Cardinals. Um, he played for East Carolina University for the Pirates out there. That's a nice little autograph. It's, I mean, it's a couple initials and everything, but it is a uh, is an on-card. It is an on-card auto. Okay, nice. So there is Alec Burleson. Again, I'll put below where they're at, where they landed, where they were drafted, all that. So that's a nice little hit. Move these guys over. And our last card of the pack is Carter Baumler for the Orioles with a number 24 of 24. That's actually pretty cool uh, for the Orioles. And it says here he, uh, well, he played football and baseball in Iowa back in 2018 and took his team to the 4A state football championship. Way to go, Carter Baumler. Number 24, 24. That's a nice little hit. Uh, pitcher, but hey, the autograph at least at least was a hitter. So that's a that's a bonus. And then and honestly, the Robert Hassel is a great hit. So okay, worth uh, four dollars a card. I don't know, but you know what? I gotta open it. You gotta open it sometime, right? So let's move on to Donruss Panini's Optic. 16 cards per pack. We have exclusive four lime green parallels per pack. And I've opened some Panini Baseball. I've opened Chronicles. I actually enjoyed that. That was a fun rip. Contenders, I hated. Um, in fact, I just did football contenders yesterday and I'm kind of in the same boat there. So contenders, I think I'm done bothering with you. But will I do Optic? I'm pretty sure I'll do Optic. Because, you know, from the basketball, football side, it's pretty strong. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and rip this pack open. We have got Ozzy Albies for the Braves. Then we have Elvis Andrews for the Rangers. Get a little glow glare there. I'll try to get my other lights out of it. Manny Machado for the Padres. Kevin Biggio for the Blue Jays. Now I know legally I'm not contractually obligated to say the team name because it's they don't have the license for it, but you know what, that's just how I roll. I'm that kind of guy. I'm gonna say the team name because I don't give a crap. I'm a baller. George Springer of the Astros, but is he really of the Astros? Where's he landing? I'm hearing the Red Sox now, which I would be totally cool with. Um, but yeah, um, Toronto's been rumored, uh, the Mets have been rumored, but who knows. And we got some color coming up, so I'm gonna skip those and go to the back. We got a red rookie of Houston Astros, Forrest Whitley. Um, I think I guess that's a hit. I mean, he's been kind of a rated rookie for the Astros for the last three years, but hey. Then we have Brendan McKay going into my PC pile. I collect, uh, I've been PCing this guy. Um, eventually he's gonna show up uh, and they're gonna let him be a two-way player. First baseman, uh, left-handed pitcher for the Rays. My PC pile. Tony Goslin, nice, going in my PC pile as well for the Dodgers. Uh, pitcher, get pitch game six of the World Series, which I was at. Uh, I've only pitched like an inning and two-third, but still, Tony Goslin. Uh, it's a nice little PC hit. Diamond Kings of Eugenio Suarez for the Reds. I guess that's an insert hit or whatever. I don't really follow the inserts on these. Dustin May, another PC hit for the for the Dodgers. Rated rookie for them. Try and get sorry, I'm just trying to get the light out of there. That's a nice little hit right there. Let's pull a hitter maybe next. Edwin Rios. Okay, so it's a PC pack for me. For the Dodgers. There uh, he's a rated rookie. Um he definitely when he gets a chance to play, he's got some he's got some pop in his bat. Then a Diamond King of Lance Lynn, who I believe is now with the White Sox. I think he just signed with them. So yeah, or traded. I don't remember, but either way, he's not hes not with Texas anymore. Then we have our George Springer, and then we're going to go to our gold, it looks like, our uh, Green Lime Parallels. Jorge Polanco for the Twins. Bryce Harper. I've been PCing this guy since I got back into the hobby because I just like, I just, he's kind of a, kind of a, you know, ass, but I do like this guy as a ball player. So that's going in my PC pile. 
Shogo Akiyama for the Reds. Rookie rated rookie with that lime green. And Brandon McKay. Okay, is that image variation? It is image variation as well of Brendan McKay. So again, that's another PC hit for me. Um, I'll pull the other McKay as well, just so you can take a look. Oh, the other one's called the Rookies. That's why. That's why it's a different looking image. So that's pack number one. Definitely get the, did well for the PC. Uh, everything else was kind of eh, but the PC got taken care of. But will pack number two give us something good? Let's find out. Three, two, one. Mm, let's go. All right, we got ourselves Jorge Polanco, who we just pulled on the lime green. You're going in the comment pile there, buddy. Bryce Harper. Okay, so I'm, okay, great, but I just pulled you in the lime green. Paul Goldschmidt for the Cardinals with the base. These are definitely that chromium finish if you haven't, it's pretty much from what I'm gathering, it's Donruss as a chrome version, so. We got Charlie Blackman for the Rockies of Colorado. Uh, All-star outfielder for them. Justin Verlander, who is coming back in about a year and a half after his rotator, his Tommy John surgery. And we're going to get our other cards, our limes. So here we go, we'll go to the back. We have Dwight Gooden with the Donruss 20. That's a kind of a cool throwback, especially when he was a beast when I was originally collecting. Throw him in the PC pile. Ryan Mountcastle. Okay, that's a, that's a rated rookie hit. In fact, he hasn't had an official Topps flagship card yet. Um, and he was a runner-up in the rookie year. And he's definitely going to be, uh, you know, playing well for the Orioles for the future. Raw stars of Ronald Acuna for the Braves. Andres Munoz, rated rookie for the Padres. Zach Gallon, rated rookie for the Diamondbacks, who ended up having a pretty decent, uh, decent year as a rookie. Obviously, their uh, their main, their number one guy there in Arizona. Diamond Kings of Trey Mancini for the Orioles. Matt Face for the Angels. It says Los Angeles down here, but anybody who's in the know knows that red colored Los Angeles means they're the Angels of Anaheim. And we're getting to our gold, our lime greens. We've got Marcus Simeon with that lime green. Now that's kind of a cool color to go with the jersey because the, the A's have that greenish gold anyway, so that's kind of a nice little hit to go with them. Then we have Ru Ramon Laureano, center fielder for the A's. I hope we just don't pull a bunch of A's because I'm not a big fan of the A's. It's a cool card though with that color. Patrick Sandoval for the same Angels that I mentioned earlier, the Red Los Angeles. So Sandoval for the Angels. And Jalen Davis for the Giants. So that right there is Optic Baseball, two fat packs, and the Elite Extra Edition uh, Panini uh, Blaster Box of five cards. Honestly, that Robert Hassel card is probably the best card, only because of where he is and who he is. Uh, the Alec Burleson's a pretty nice hit. Again, I'll put below where this guy landed, where he ended up. Uh, not landed, but if he was drafted, all that fun stuff. Um, the PC pile did okay, I'm not gonna lie. The rest of the stuff, I didn't pull anything really awe-inspired and shocking and making you go like, oh my God, this guy pulls fire! I pulled embers yeah yeah that's about it it wasn't smoldering it was tepid yeah anyway <laughs> thank you so much for watching ripping packs be sure to um touch that subscribe button with your mouse your finger your pad whatever however you use your view your content that subscribe button just click that or touch it the like button however you view your content just touch it notification bell Touch it if you want, I don't care. I mean, do whatever you want, you know. Smack it up, flip it, rub it down. Oh no. Thank you for watching Ripping Packs and I will see you tomorrow.